So right now, the image that you are looking at is uh, shot on the G7X Mark II, the little compact camera. Um, so for the past four years, we have been in uh, beautiful California, and um, each weekend we try our best to get out and um, explore and take the family out and do something. So this Sunday we went to Yountsville, uh, California, which is about a 25 to 30 minute drive away from Santa Rosa, California, where we currently live. Um, and the whole point of going was to, uh, to do multiple things, to ride their bike trail from Yountsville to Napa, um, to test out the G7X Mark II in a real world test, and just, well, to simply have fun. So everything you're about to see will be shot on the G7X Mark II. Uh, I just wanted to kind of put it in a vlogging environment and just see how well it does. Now, if you are interested in this camera, um, pay attention to a few things. Um, image quality, audio, autofocus, and the auto settings, period. Uh, I kept the camera in the auto settings just because uh, I want it to be more like a running gun. I don't want to have to focus on, you know, exposure and anything like that. And anyone that's new to uh, videography or trying to start a YouTube channel, nine times out of 10, you're going to be using the auto settings. So I'm kind of going to just give you a real world, real world look of how it, you know, how this camera performs. So without further ado, here's the footage that we've captured. It's a little rough. Um, it's just, it's just a little example of, you know, how the camera operates and a little makeshift vlog that we put together. Hi everybody. So we're going out on a day trip today um, to check out a place called Yountville, California. Um, trying to take advantage of a little bit of a break in the rain. Um, we're gonna ride our bikes on the Napa Valley Vine Trail and then check out some places to eat and um, some wine, wineries as well. What did you get? I got chocolate almonds right there. I'll take that. Oh, you get that too, chocolate almonds. And then a vanilla latte. Uh, uh, 16 ounces. 16 ounces, yep. And then I'll take a 16 ounce of chai. 16 ounce of chai. How many shots of Just one. And what was the first drink? Uh, vanilla. Vanilla. And what's it? Can I get a name? Brian. How is it? Is it good? <laughs> it's not good. Okay, so today is definitely going to be a totally different video than what I'm normally used to making. Um, 
we're in Yountsville. I think my wife said it earlier. Um, I'm going to be using the G7X Mark II for the majority of this whole entire video. So I'm just kind of get, get a real world kind of test of what it's kind of like uh, shooting on this camera full time. So, yep, the little one is actually out here playing on the uh, playground. Uh, I'm about to get the bikes off the car and then we're going to go for our 12 mile ride. So, see you guys in a little bit. What did you get? What is that? It's a margarita pizza. It's just tomato and cheese and basil. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know what this is. What did, what did I get? Prosciutto. No, the prosciutto that's, pizza. That's hot. Um, prosciutto with arugula and cheese. Mm. So, what did you guys think of the camera? I actually thought it was a pretty decent camera. It, it, really, it did really well. It performed really well. Um, there are a few little gripes that I have with this camera. Uh, the autofocus is not as fast as I, I would like it to be. And the auto, when you have it in fully automatic mode, it does take some time for it to adjust. Uh, it's hit or miss how quick it is sometimes. Um, one other thing is the audio, which you, you have to really understand that this is a compact camera. The audio is not going to be that great. In certain situations, it will be perfectly fine. But when you are in a crowded room, kind of like when we were in the pizza shop, the audio was, you know, you, you really can't hear my wife or my daughter speaking because it's so loud. So it, it, it just gathers all of that audio and just jumbles it all up. So that's something you probably want to keep in mind as well. So overall though, this camera is a really good camera. If you just keep in mind those few little issues, it is worth the $650. I'll see you in the next video.